Hi, this is Fabrizio Poli for Energize Forever TV and welcome to another episode of our show. And today we're talking about the book of the week and the book of the week today is Your Attitude Determines Your Altitude. It's a book I actually wrote four years ago and it's been on the market since, I'm doing very well and today we really need to give the book a boost because I really think that today you need this book more than ever. Why? Not because I wrote it, not because I want your money, but because the information in this book is going to help you to jump out of the queue. It's all about being in the queue here. And what is this queue? Now you imagine that you know the world is like a globe, but society is actually like shot in a cube. And the cube has six sides. The first side of the cube is atmosphere, meaning the people around you, uh, your family, your friends, your work associates, um, all these people around you are create your atmosphere. And this atmosphere can be good, it could be bad. In this atmosphere you can have people which are motivating you to improve, which are telling you you're good, which are encouraging you to, to move on and, and to create new things and to develop yourself. Or you may have an environment that you're in that is doing quite the opposite, where people keep telling you you're not worth anything, and you can't do that, you can't do this, you're never going to achieve that, you're never going to achieve that. So we need to really watch our atmosphere and see if this atmosphere is a sunny atmosphere or a cloudy atmosphere. The next part of the cube is education. We see the education system around the world today is failing big time. It's not teaching children to become productive adults. And this is why homeschooling is on the increase. I mean, I and my wife and I, we have four kids. We're homeschooling our kids. Our oldest son, Benjamin, is nine, and we'll be homeschooling him from day one. And the reason why we homeschool is so that we have full control about the information that's going into their, their minds. And we find the stuff, we tune into each child, we know what, what's best for them, and we know how to help each one of them develop to their full potential and find what talents they have and bring them out. This is the thing which school should, be, should, should do, but unfortunately schooling systems worldwide are not doing this. The, the scary thing about this is that it's actually intentional to produce a society of people that aren't really with it. But I mean, I want the best for my kids, and I know you want the best for your kids too. So this is why we chose the homeschooling option. So that's the education side of the cube. The third side of the cube is money. Money in the sense that today we have a financial crisis, a lot of people have problems with, with, with money, they've lost their jobs, they, they've lost their houses, they've lost their businesses, and they don't know really where to go. A lot of people are retired thinking they're going to have enough money, and then suddenly they find themselves with a half of the money that they actually plan to have. And so they're having to have to go back into the workforce. So why is there all this thing about money? Is it intentional? Well, unfortunately it is intentional. There's a system out there that doesn't want people to have money. And a lot of people think money is a bad thing, that people that have money are bad people, but it's actually quite the opposite. And money can really do a lot for us, but we really need to look into it. The next side of the cube is media and how the media influences us. And the media does a really good job on TV, newspapers, magazines, of distracting us about the, the, the real and important things of life. So we really need to stop allowing the media to distract us from the important things of life and then also we need to tune in to some media that's actually telling us the truth and not a pack of lies because a lot of the media out there is giving us false and, and, and wrong information. Next side of the cube is health and this for me is probably one of the most important if not the most important because if you're not healthy if you've got low energy then you're not going to be able to do all the rest you're not going to be able to figure out how to create a business to earn more money, or you won't have the energy to homeschool your children, or you won't have the energy to be able to motivate your colleagues to improve or to help a friend with a, with a difficulty and help him through. So health is really, really important. Unfortunately, and this is the key here, the interesting observation that, that, that I always talk about is the fact that the pharmacies are full of medicines and the hospitals are full of sick people. So my question is, if the medicines in the pharmacies were created to make people healthy, why are the hospitals full of sick people? There's obviously something wrong with the system. Now, in my family, my wife's gone through a lot of health problems, and she's solved all these problems by using alternative health remedies, which at the end of the day were natural remedies by going out there and using the herbs that grow in the forest. And you'll hear later more about my wife's story in the next few weeks on one of the episodes of Energize Forever TV. And now, these five sides of the cube that I've talked to you about now are all sides that work from the outside to the inside. Because they're all factors around you. I mean, they're healthy. I mean, the food that's put on your plate is something that's coming from outside. Yes, however, you do control what you order, what you put in your shopping trolley. So, this is where you come to the sixth side of the cube, which is your attitude. 
And it's really your attitude which will determine your altitude. Because it's your attitude that will bring you to ask the question, well, does homes is homeschooling more effective than normal schooling? Is herbal medicine more effective than traditional medicine? So what you're doing here is you're using your mind, you're using your attitude, you're developing this attitude of what if, what if, what if, what if CNN is telling me a load of lies, or, or, or Fox News is telling me a load of lies, or, or, or the, the Herald Tribune is, is telling me a load of stories which aren't true, or all these media outlets, what if, if they aren't telling me the truth? And if they aren't telling me the truth, why aren't they telling me the truth? And they're not telling me the truth, where is the truth, what is the truth? And when we start asking ourselves these questions, I mean, if we look at society, we look at history, mankind has made some incredible advancements technologically, spiritually, uh, mentally, you name it, thanks to people that ask themselves a different set of questions. And it takes a positive, open-minded attitude to ask yourself these questions. So this is why I'm encouraging you today to get a copy of your attitude determines your altitude because it's not going to give you all the solutions but hopefully it will start to help you to tune on to a different frequency and then as you tune on to that different frequency you'll start to think outside the cube, act outside the cube, live outside the cube and achieve that freedom that everybody is after. Thank you for listening. To me, Richard Foley on Energize Forever TV. See you next time.